Welcome to episode 10. The Fret File Conspiracy of Doom. Ah, or not. 4 hours, 32 minutes, 25, 26, 28. Okay. I missed a number there. I've officially run out of time now. I'm, you really I've, are. I am going to... Repeat the word I. Wing it. Multiple times. I think... I think... <sighs> this was a pretty bloody tight neck joint to start with. Okay. I hope that in this warmth it should be enough. We have the guitar. Because I need to finish this build. Okay, so we've done up to 240. That's, that's got to be impossible. Under an hour and a half to turn that into a playable Pluggable in. There we go. Instrument. In a musician's hands. other half of the fret job. Okay. Some wet glue. Off that little bit of glue there. <laughs> oh. It's fine, I don't have the time. Damn it, damn you. Poo, poo, poo. <laughs> uh, I have so many plans for this build. I was sincerely hoping I was going to have time to do a sunburn to finish. In other words, do a sunburst, but using fire. But that's just not going to happen. Can I tell you a secret? Freight ends are sharp. <sighs> and poisonous. Okay. A lot of people are allergic to the nickel in nickel silver frets, but also when you uh, cut yourself with them, they tend to get infected uh, more than normal cuts, which is weird. <sighs> Luthier's kryptonite. Yet again, using a fine, lovely, perfectly sharp chisel as a scraper. When behind me, I have a rack with at least 30 scrapers on it. What? What the hell? Disappointed in myself. So this brown oak almost looks like ash in this picture. A moving picture. <sighs> All right, I am going to apply finish and this is sad. But that'll do, and then while while the finish is curing, uh, I'll be putting more frets in, and we'll see how that goes. It's sad because I really did want to burn it, just a little bit. 
you know. Wow. Look at that. That's my reaction both times I saw that. I love wood. I just love it. So this is uh, Crimson Guitar's guitar finishing oil. It's uh, something I worked on for years to perfect and uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> We love it. Uh, this is pretty much my favorite part of the build. At this stage, you really don't want that, all that stuff on a bench. So you'll notice I'm having a slight issue here. It's the fan. And yeah, it still doesn't occur to me to turn it off. City boy. Ooh. It's, it's magic. It's pure magic watching the wood come to life there. I think this is a, a type of brown oak or bog oak or something like that. It's, it's lighter than normal oak. Uh, and yeah, beautiful. So I'm flooding this, and uh, as you can see, it, it really is soaking in very rapidly, uh, into the body at least, which is exactly what we want. This was designed to be a penetrating oil rather than one that would sit on the top as a surface finish, almost like a varnish, uh, although it does build up. Turn the fan off already. One hour, 20 minutes to go. One hour, 19 minutes to go. Okay. I'm gonna leave that to uh, sort of do what it wants to do for a little while. And I'm gonna whack a few frets in. When the frets are in, I might apply. <laughs> My bad, thank you. Yeah, when the frets are in, I might well apply another coat of finish. Bear in mind that glue is still curing and I'm now hitting it with a hammer. A little bit unwise. Some support is required. This means that I'm hammering uh, on the support more than 
on the neck joint. Now, at this point I decided that what I wanted to do really was uh, hammer down onto the neck joint itself rather than hammering uh, off the joint, which is putting pressure on it. I'm saving, by starting at this end, maybe a minute or two. Uh, but it felt like the right thing to do. Trying to do two frets at the same time though, or yeah, whatever I just did there was a bit dim. Can you hear I'm hammering more gently than I normally do as well? This can't be good for the uh, glue joint. I just said that. I don't know, this guy's so slow. This isn't how I normally do frets either. This is me fretting at speed. I love how that blue inlay just pops out. It's it's kind of like a good logo. You've got a monochrome logo, two or three basic colours, and one part of it is bright blue or, or bright red or something. That's uh, that's what that is. It's the uh, it's the exclamation point in this guitar. <laughs> or does that just sound like bullshit? I don't know. As is always the case, one single fret out of the third length of fret wire. And we've passed four hours, 45 minutes, one hour and 15 minutes left to get this guitar playing and complete and done and in the hands of a musician. Mm. It's looking closer than it did 10 minutes ago. It has frets. It has finish. Ah, walk in the park. What do you think? Still hasn't realised that fan is what's causing all of his trouble. Ah, dimwit. Single-minded. Here we go. Focused. So the the oil has penetrated quite deeply, which is good. We did put a I did put a hell of a lot on there, um, but. Uh, as is the case with uh, 
Elm guitars. Well, there's a tutorial putting this wheel on an Elm guitar, actually, a Burr Elm guitar. The wheel keeps on coming up out of the cracks after the surface oil is dried, and uh, that needs to be rubbed down continuously for a little while. And he realizes. Took your time. So, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. I, I think it's, it's like tossing a coin up in the air sometimes, guitar design. Um, so essentially this is kind of a, a raw series custom shop type of thing. We make, uh, we make guitars out of wood that's non-standard, sort of with cracks and knot holes and stuff like that, because it's attractive in a strange, knotty, cracky sort of way. Um, knotty, cracky. Yeah, I'm, I'm really glad we do. We, we end up making use of wood like this that would have otherwise just, well, ended up in a wood pile for a fire or something at some point. Okay, we have finish in. The, the neck appears to be solid despite all of that banging away. Uh, I do have to finish some fret work, which uh, is gonna be a little bit scary considering I now have finish. That ain't gonna stick, boy which tape just isn't going to sit, uh, hold to. Slow down, okay. breathe. <laughs> no, there's not a chance, not a chance whatsoever. This is a picture of my mind starting to unravel. Oh, I made a mistake. I shouldn't have looked at the, uh, I should not have looked at that clock. Okay. So the fret ends are still poking out. I need to get them flush with the fretboard before we can do anything else. One hour, 10 minutes to go. When I first conceived this guitar, it was at the end of a very long road trip. I was uh, sitting in a car with James at stupid o'clock in the morning. It was very, 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 very early after a long, long weekend uh, at a guitar show. You thought I was going to say debauchery, didn't you? And. Uh, I was sort of saying, well, you know, why don't we do a, a, another guitar build? And six hours was mentioned, and it was just, James absolutely said, no, there's just no way whatsoever you can do it. Um, and we talked about it for a bit, and I said, well, you know, why not? Bog standard, tele-type, single pickup, bolt-on bridge, um, bolt-on neck, sorry, um, a, a top-mounted bridge, uh, it's got a single route for a couple of controls on it. Yeah. Hey, 
it should be fairly easy. If you have any interest in vintage tools, join the Tools and Trades History Society. It's awesome. It is. It is awesome. And I shouldn't be using their left letters there. <laughs> there. Our. I have just basically convinced myself, potentially, to try. Because this isn't a bog standard telly, this isn't a bolt on the neck, this isn't a, a top mounted bridge, although I suppose tunematics may be. It isn't a flat headstock with easy tuners and an easy nut, etc. Uh, or a pre slotted fretboard, which is what we considered. Okay, I'm starting to slow down. This is a carved angled neck, angled headstock. This is not good. The pizza power has uh, waned complex build. The pizza power is waning. <laughs> uh, I think I should try a, a bog standard T-type flat body, uncarved, flat heads like bolt on neck guitar in four hours. Or maybe it's very late at night now, here where I'm uh, recording this uh, voiceover and I'm losing my mind even more. <laughs> Let's see. All right. For now. Let's see where this goes. See, leveling beam again. Those things are phenomenal. Don't knock that nut off again, Ben. So I'm simultaneously polishing and rounding over the fret ends, making them a little bit less dangerous and liable to damage me. For the first, oh, maybe 80 guitars I built, I never used a file to round over fret ends ever at all. I, I just used paper in that method. And it was okay. Ish. Okay-ish. Just over an hour to go. So at this point I need to say, we normally spend an average of, on a CNC, a partially CNC made guitar, we probably spend an average of about 30 to 40 hours on a guitar build. On a handmade, Master built guitar like this, where it's made from scratch. At Crimson Guitars, we spend an average between 60 and 80 to 100 hours on a build. And a good four or five hours, at least, is spent on the fretwork. This is not how we normally build guitars. This is for fun. And uh, in about a week's time, when this guitar is about to, well, Actually, in two or three weeks' time, before we uh, send this guitar to its eventual owner, who is uh, one of you fantastic uh, listeners, viewers, uh, the strings will come off and Christopher will give it a full-on... a full going over. So, yeah, we have a bit of fall away here, which is fine. Okay. I don't know why I've still got a, a prototype unfinished, <laughs> not straight edge. We send out dozens of those a week, all nice looking and painted and... 
anyway, okay, fine. So. So I'm using a leveling beam here with 240 grit, maybe even 320, I can't see the sticker anymore, uh, paper. And that is grinding away the tops of the high frets until I see none of the permanent marker left. Uh, now, remember earlier on I mentioned uh, we had some fall away up towards the body. And that's what we can see where you can still see some black frets. Uh, we'll go and do that later. So this is going to be playable. And the frets will be level for a good given uh, quantity of level. But um, they will be improved later on. I should have put some uh, tape over that nut to keep that safe. So there's a little bit of fall away here, which we actually build into the necks anyway. So what I'm doing here is leveling just this section here. Three hundred and twenty grit paper. I could have gone coarser, but that's not as uh, as accurate. Five hours. We've just breached five hours. This is the last stretch. Do you think we can? Do you think I can take this guitar? <laughs> Oh, so much to do still. Tuners, bridge, pickups, jack socket. Ah. Okay. Well, we are, or we have just passed, we have just passed the five hour mark. This is insane. We're going to swap camera people over. And uh, I have just got less than an hour to finish building this guitar and have it playing. We've got Phil coming in, hopefully, to do a little bit of a demo. Um, and he will be here in an hour and 15 minutes, actually. So, so, ah! <laughs> Click like, subscribe, please. Come back for the next one. Patreon, etc. You're fantastic, I'll see you soon.